hello leo welcome back to the illest illuminator so let's see what's going on for you and whoever you are dealing with what are the messages for the zodiac sign leo from the 15th till the 31st of january what are the messages that you have for the zodiac sign of Leo from the 15th till the 31st of January. So let's see. What's the past energy for Leo? What's the past energy for the zodiac sign of Leo? Wow. Okay. So you guys have been coming out of. Like there is a breakup of a connection um, with the Hierophant here in the reverse and the Three of Swords in the reverse. So you're kind of like healing from a broken relationship um, that just did not work out due to maybe differences or different belief systems or you could also be still trying to find some clarity for some of you you are letting go of trying to seek that clarity but for most for most of the leos i feel that there is a lack of clarity uh, about what a person did to you by a third party so there could be an interference of the relationship and you still are coping with some Inner conflicts is what I'm getting here and a lot of um, secrets or illusions that you still don't can't see past from is what I'm getting here. So that is a quite some heavy energy um, from some of you. You are getting over it. You are getting uh, over a past betrayal um, with what someone did or said to you in the past. But that was the past energy. So let's see what's going on for the person that you were dealing with, Leo. What's the past energy of the person that... Wow, the tower. That is definitely a breakup. Yeah, a breakup from their side as well. Uh, truth has been revealed. or And it was something from the past that probably came back to... In order to disturb the relationship. And now... There is like a ending of this relationship or, or commitment is what I'm getting. And they are still stuck in whatever has happened in the past. So I feel that there is a, a truth about the past that came out uh, in the recent uh, past. And that, that caused for a major shakeup in their life and made things very unharmonious or, or unharmonious how do you say that so let's just see what is going on in your present situation you have the ace of cups in the reverse so you're still healing from uh, from whatever has happened and you may get like chances when it comes to love but you're not willing to take that risk right now is what i'm getting because you're still healing from it so uh, you could have a lot of emotional outbursts at this moment um, and just not open up, opening up emotionally is what I'm getting. And you have the Ten of Wands, so you feel that there is still a lot of work to do when it comes to opening up emotionally to someone or um, you're just not ready to... to to have someone coming in, whether it's a new person or someone else, there is still a lot of burdens on you. You feel very heavy and you don't know if you, if you are ready for, for a renewal, if it was the same person or just any other person who, who wants your attention or who wants to start over with you. Now, the person that you are dealing with, their present situation is the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. So they are letting go of having control. They are letting go of an old foundation that was not working, uh, that was probably built on lies or, or on ego or things that were just not good 
for a healthy relationship now they do have the nine of swords here so they are stressed about you letting go as well uh you not putting in energy to fix it because you feel that it's too heavy on you already but they are feeling stressed about letting go of you or also stressed out about opening up towards you is what i'm getting here now let's see what the blockage is for you leo what's the blockage for leo please what's the blockage for leo Please show me the blockage for Leo. Yeah, it's the Knight of Wands and the Six of Cups. There could be a Sagittarius who came in from the past, um, but you still have some. Hmm, you still have a strong soulmate connection with this person, and but whatever you did, whatever you tried. It did not work out because things were still very unstable. There could be like a sex only relationship that is now working on your nerves at the moment. At the same time. This person could also be very much going in and out of your life or be very, very much focus on their singlehood on on having a lot of adventures with different kind of persons so you could be dealing with another fire sign as well uh leo sagittarius or a or an aries but it's also you still haven't been able to let go of whatever has happened in the past so the the fact that this person has been go coming in and out of your life is just something that is still lingering on and you're thinking twice whether you want to let this person back in the blockage for the person that you are dealing with they have the temperance in the reverse as i was saying this could definitely be a sagittarius as i was feeling already but they they are not feeling balanced they are feeling impatience they have the feeling that they don't have anything in control at this moment and there is a lack of lack of give and take a lack of balance but also a lack of like they want to reconcile but they they could have like some drinking problem is also what i'm getting here or they have a lot of i don't know why it could be like anger issues that are still uh that they are dealing with but they just don't have any patience to deal with the situation is what i'm getting here and they feel that there is a lack of give and take so that you are probably the one that is not giving them the attention anymore um since you know leos are very compassionate and they, they like give a lot of attention but um maybe you withdraw from that in order to heal uh, a situation is what i'm getting here because it was too heavy for you, you had the feeling that it was all on you to make things happen or make things go the right way. And it just did not work out. Let's see your hopes. Yeah, you don't want to make a decision with the two of swords here um, is what I'm getting here. Yeah, and you have the sun. So you're hoping to, if you have been a little depressed or have, or there were a lot of secrets that you did not like get out, you, you just want to have some truth about it. You want the truth to be revealed and you're just hoping to shine again. You want growth, you want vitality, you want um, you want things to go into a positive direction. And that's why you may not want to make a decision right now. If you have a, someone else on the side as well, or this person, I feel that if you are the one that have two people, then you still don't want to make a decision you are happy with where you are actually is what i'm getting here 
So let's see the person that you're dealing with, what their hopes are. The hopes for, see, they want to reconcile. They want to offer you a new love. They want to make things right. And they know that it's a heavy burden. And like, if they haven't been coming forward, they are heavily thinking about making things right and coming forward with an apology. But they do know that it's, it's a very like look at that you both have the ten of uh, wands with the ace of cups and here is again the ten of wands with the ace of cups so that is cr a crazy mirroring here uh, at the moment so they know it will be up on them this time to make things right again so let's see how you view this person yeah six of pentacles see you have the feeling that they were giving into a different situation as well to someone else or a different situation and that you did not receive in accordance to what you get put in and that that's why you put pull back your energy and now they they know that it's on to them to fix the situation and see a lot of secrets, lies, illusions, um, things hidden in the dark. When you think about this person and you have the feeling that every time there will be another secret coming out and that's what you don't want to deal with. Now, how this person is viewing you. Wow, King of Cups. So how this person is viewing you, it's like two kings so very much in your elements as i was saying that's what you're tr striving for and with the king of cups to me it's like you're in control of of your emotions you're in control of where you put your time and energy in and it's not easy for them to crack you open um so you can also dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, but I feel that it's more your energy where you're just now sitting on your throne, know, know your word, know how to keep your emotions in check. So let's see, your present doubts and fears. Present doubts and fears. Wow, you have the strength card, which is your card, and the fool in uh, in the upright. So you are fearing to take a leap of faith. As I was saying, this person could come back um, to reconcile again, to make things up. But you are fearing that if you would take that leap of faith, that this person would bring you down again, and that you will not remain balanced and strong enough to say no um to this person like like this person could make you have a weakness for them and you you want to hold your composure to them if you get what i mean so you fear that and they have the three of wands in the reverse so they fear that you are going to turn your back to them not that you're not waiting for them to come around that even though you put a lit in a lot of energy that you don't wait for them to come around again and you're and that's what they are fearing as well and what i'm getting also is they fear to have any expectation from you. It's like they don't know what to expect from you, uh, how you are going to react when they come back to offer. So let's see. Outside influences for Leo, please. Outside influences for Leo. Okay. So there is the Queen of Pentacles with the Three of Pentacles. There could be someone, uh, an Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo that is uh, trying to get this person from you is what I'm getting here. They're trying to... Because this is an outsider. This is not the person that you are dealing with. This is someone that is trying to 
put the energy into this person to get them working with them and is dedicating their time and energy into it. And at the same time, this could also indicate... Hmm. This could happen in the workforce as well. Like, um, someone's focus is on this person, and that's why you want to take your energy back. And that could be what came out, something that you've heard or seen, and you want all the attention and this person is giving the person that you are dealing with the attention and you don't like that and you feel that this person is is yeah let's see And for some of you, this person could be very much focused on you and again, trying to reconcile with you. This could be an earth sign, female, Capricorn, Taurus, a Virgo, or male. So let's see what's the outside influences for the person that you are dealing with. Outside influences for Leo. See, there is again an earth sign. They're both facing each other right now here so but although i do think that you are again the king of wands you come up every time with as a king's king so you are very much focused on your goals so this could also be you really focus on your goals career and trying to get things um grounded for yourself and and putting a lot of energy and effort into your finances and your work and this person is seeing you doing good again it's i keep on saying this for leo but it is what it is you guys are focused on your target you guys are focused on your goals you know what you want you, you have your goals set and you are taking things in your own sweet little time to get your um to get to your goal which is just very positive but you could make this person feel very intimidated by showing up a lot like a king here is what I'm getting here. So let's see your future energies for Leo. What are the future energies for Leo? Future energies for Leo. You have the Knight of Swords in the reverse. So you could be dodging a bullet is what I'm getting here. And not wanting to confront and try to... You could be also dealing with someone who is not honest and truthful in their communication. So watch out for, for that kind of energy. And you do also have the Acceptance card, which is the Temperance card. So this could be a Sagittarius coming into your life in order to again restore this relationship so even if you said no i don't want it this person could come in and um balance things out with you and try to find some harmony in this relationship and you could come also into a place where you find some more peace and harmony so this is very very positive and you do have the empress card so there is a new start a new foundation a new creative start that is going to happen some of you could even get pregnant so be careful of that as well is what i'm getting here and very much focus on you and and self-love you have goddess of sacred power you are being encouraged to take a leading role in your current situation which i see you already doing that with that king of wands and all the kings you are very much in control and you are being encouraged to take a leading role so if that's if that means to mend things with this person and try to seek for that harmony try to take that leading role is what it's saying here and this could also be of course 
have to do with your uh, with your work. Maybe there's a project that you need to take 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 the leading role in, and it's saying that you are capable of doing that. So just just do it. You have see, you have golden opportunity. And I feel this is, has to do with. Uh, work related especially with the queen of pentacles and three of pentacles here too important doors are opening for you right now walk through them there's definitely a new beginning coming towards you uh, something that you have been nurturing for a very long time put a lot of energy into it and now it's going to come into fruition but you need to take the leader role and yeah, there is definitely a huge change going to come your way. Uh, this could be an expect, accepted, um, expected change or an unexpected change. And you have self-love. So as I was saying with this Empress card, there is a need for you to nurture yourself more and focus more on uh, self-love is what I'm getting here. So that was your reading, dear Leo. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you the next time. Bye.